All right, welcome back, guys. In this tutorial, we're going to see how we can use NiFi to parse fixed delimited files. This fixed delimited files, sometimes they're a nightmare. Um, the reason I'm saying that there are many situations where it's so hard to, let's say, read them and massage them. They're not like JSON or CSV. But, you know, when we get faced with a job, we got to get it done. So I have this sample file here. Uh, and this came out of a, a request that one of our group members in uh, our Discord channel came and asked me to help him with. So I was like, okay, let's find a way around it and let's get you with a solution. In the same time, I thought, hmm, this is a good candidate to make a tutorial. I think a lot of people will benefit from it. So this is the approach I, I use when I deal with flat files. Normally this flat file or this fixed width files, as the name implies, the, they don't have headers uh they just you see this ugly uh, let's say fixed length denominated uh, field how do i normally go about this first i want to make sure that i have the file and i'm able to read it so i have a generate flow file that will give me a flow inside my my system and i have a fetch file this fetch file will go and fetch that file so let's go ahead and run it once capture the file and look at it oops this dust file is not found. All right, let's see what's going on here. So it's fixed file downloads. Let me go to this location. Just one second. Cool, managed to fix the error. There was an issue with the path. All right, so let's start it and let's start the process. All right, so we can see we have the file read into our flow file. And this is how it looks. Normally what I do, if I don't know the schema or the, the person who sends me the data doesn't provide me with the, the limit, uh, like with the uh, begin and end of each column, I go to my VS code here. And you can see if you select one of the items here and you go down, it will say, okay, it has 13 characters. So what it tells me, it's like, if you think about this line as a single item, from zero to 13 or 12, then I'll get this column. And then when I'll select this one until the end, until the beginning of the next, will be 100 characters selected. And it starts from, uh, what is it called here? From 16 up until 116 and so on and so forth. In this case, it's a bit different. If you see here, I know about this, that this is a year and this is another year. And then this is a string that comes on its own. So let's go ahead and see how I can parse this and come up with a JSON file format. Let's jump back into NiFi. First, one thing I want to do in order for me to play with it and associate it each associate each column with its own field i want to split the text so i'm going to use the split text processor with a value of one here so i'm going to say split everything that comes into individual lines right now you see we have nine lines there or nine flow files if we look at it it's a single line item great now this is the another part i want to capture that flow file into an attribute so i have an extract text processor that helps me with that I have an extra parameter here that I've added. I call it payload. And I'm using this regex expression to capture the, the entirety of the incoming flow content and put it into this attribute. Let's run them all. And if we see here, nothing changed in size. But now the payload is exposed as an attribute. And there you go. Payload, obviously the name, and the attributes. Don't get fooled by the let's say this particular values that are let's say tied up in together he still keeps the form as you can see here in a hover right next what i'll do and this is the secret sauce that i put in since i have it in an attribute what am i going to do i'm going to create a new attribute that will do the parsing so here i have the following i know the field's name and because it was passed by our colleague and I'm associating them with the outcome of the data. So for this, what I'm going to use to be able to get that fixed limited values, I'm going to use substrings. And that's an expression language 
function that come out of the box from NiFi. And this is incorrect here, so I'm going to say pay load. So basically what this substring function will do we'll look into this attribute and say okay give me the values in that string or that pair attribute from here to here from 0 to 13 and then the same one does same thing from 15 to 16 16 to 19 whatever the specification is and the outcome of this is going to be a json file format and i'll explain to you why i want it in json so let's run it all great now if we look inside uh, the attributes you see we have a new attribute here called a obviously the, the name of it is not very strange. but it has a valid json shape yeah we get some extra characters in there but that's fine we can deal with the extra spaces we can use a trim in our database or even in our insert statement but the important part is that we manage to associate columns with their particular values now i have this json file right sort of what i'll do next I'll replace the flow file content with that JSON file. So since it's not payload, it's A. I'm going to use this replace text with this regex search value, which is again the same as in extract text. Bring me everything, replace it with this value, always replace and do line by line. Apply. Let's run all. And now if we look inside the payload of it, like we're still going to have the attributes. But if you look inside the payload, you're going to get that JSON file or JSON body. Great. So what now? Right. So this is the secret sauce because I want to make my life easier. I want to do something with this data. First, I can land it into a row, which is just leave it as is, or I can use it to populate a table in a database. And what I'll do before we do that, let's go ahead. I have a database connection here created. I'm going to paste this thing in here. And I have a MySQL locally installed, and I'm going to create a new table with the same definition. So I'll say bar char, let's make it 255 in this case, and let's do the same for all the other items. One thing that is important here, you want to keep the naming of the columns, oh, I'm sorry, the same as in your incoming flow, flow file. So if you see here, my table is going to be the same. And I'm going to show you guys how easy it is to generate um, SQL using this approach and also using the JSON to SQL processor. All right, so we're going to say create table uh, demo, I don't know, fixed underscore file. And obviously, that's not going to be the name. It's going to be EAN. And let's remove this and put it on the score. Otherwise, he's going to bitch about it. All right, so we have these columns. And voila. Let's remove the double quotes. Great. Let's run it. It says that it's missing commas, of course. Great. Now we have a table created let's copy the table name and remember we're in schema demo go back to our nifi go back to convert json to sql by the way i already have a jdbc connection to my database if you don't know how to, to do that i have a bunch of tutorials about how you can connect database from other output sources but in a nutshell set up the jdbc url give it the driver class provide it with a jar location on your local user and password and you should be ready to go and then enable it once you choose, um, right, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Once you're happy with the configuration, drag on the canvas this JSON to SQL, and from the drop down, select the connection. Right, in my case, it's going to be my local. And I want to insert the data. We can also use update or delete based on the incoming flow file. If you want to use an insert, you don't have to provide it with a key. If you want to use an update, then you will have to provide it with the update keys in case this case has to be a primary key you can't have duplicates and such so let's go for an insert just for the demo purpose let's choose the table name remember we copied that that table name and then the catalog name is going to be demo let's leave it as it is apply 
and he complains that a failure or original what we're gonna do with it well i'm gonna do nothing i'm just gonna terminate them normally what i like to do i want to route failures to another monitoring processor but in that case we're not going to do that so now it's in running state let's run them and observe what happens well they all run successfully and they give me nine flows out if i look inside the particular uh payload he built for us the exact insert statement with the columns and then this question marks well this question marks refer to a list of argument that he automatically extracted from the json payload so if you look into the attributes and you scroll down and you look for this sql args that one type uh, or the value value type so basically he will create the key value pairs with the data type and a particular value and those will be used as replacement values for those question marks right now final step let's run the put sql or insert into the database this is very straightforward you don't you basically just need to drag this processor on the canvas and in the properties select the connection and just leave it as it is if you want to play with the batches instead of being one uh, 100 make it one let's do that and that's about it if you do not provide him with the with an attribute here he will automatically consider the flow file content as it's in stair setting let's apply obviously let's terminate the failure and you know retry let's actually use the retry select attach it to itself and retry and on success what am i going to do just do nothing terminate i'm happy all right so let's run this one good nine in and everything runs successfully now let's go and check our data copy this value paste it in and there you go this is our data obviously it's not as clean as we want it you can do a bit more playing around but that's pretty much how you would uh, let's say parse um, a fixed file with data what i'll do i'll take a copy of this template and i'll post it in my github repo hopefully if you guys have any questions on more about NiFi and other data engineering stuff, feel free to join our Discord channel where there's a bunch of us there. I think there's about 70 of us this just talk NiFi, data engineering, all this stuff. stuff. All right, cool. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Make sure you like and subscribe. Drop me a comment if you think this is relevant or if I should do something else. Uh, and I'll jump on it. All right. Take care, everybody.